done by Kuching Local Artists. And Kuching is actually quite open to graffiti. So let's go check some of these out. She kind of looks like Miley Cyrus. Huh. <laughs> Pretty cool. 25th is quite famous. He did lots of the stuff here. Stuff by Amy. 25th again. Look at her eyes. Whoa. So cool. And then some wording, some tags. See, I know lingo. I know street lingo. Look at this. A cat in the cat town. And if you don't know, Kuching actually means cat in Malaysian language. So that's why you see a lot of cat statues, cat paintings like this beautiful one by Voider. And a lot of little kitty trinkets here and there. It's because Kuching is the cat town. Waterfront. As you can see, the river is behind me and there's so many souvenirs and trinkets here. During the weekends, they have the bazaar and the market, so that's why it's a little bit noisy. So I want to look around, see if I can find anything that I want to get. After Carpenter Street, I made my way to Kuching Waterfront, where I bought some trinkets, a little sape for me to remember my sape lesson with the sape master himself. So I played the sape the other day with the Living Heritage, the master of sape. So I'm going to get a little tiny sape for myself to bring home. That's it. Alright, so this is Pua Kumbu. It's uh, weaved cloth from the Iban tribe and this lovely lady right here with her artsy hands made it into an iPad case like this. So the Pokemon wear and some PVC and there are also different sizes so there's a purse. Pretty cool right? So I'm gonna get this from this lovely lady and she's so talented. She makes all these necklaces by herself. She made this all by herself, all these handbags. And if you look behind me, all the woodwork, the shields, the hats. She made that all by herself. And an iron bracelet made by an Iban woman. That was very interesting because then I learned that a lot of the things there were made by the people who sold them themselves. They had so much love for their own culture and they had so much creativity and I just admired Kuching for the people who have all that imagination and all that creativity in them. Kuching is famous for its cake lapis, layered cake, but I can only get it if I go across the river over there. So let's go, come on, follow me. The Sarawak layer cake is traditionally served on special occasions. In the Malay language, the cakes are known as cake lapis. After a five minute boat ride, I'm here at Dayang Salha, the most famous distributor of cake lapis, Sarawakian layered cake. And a little bit about Sarawakian layered cake. It actually came from Indonesia when the Batawi people came over and taught the people of Sarawak how to make spice cake. Over time, the Sarawakian people added colour and more herbs and spices and it became the Sarawakian cake lapis. Let's go inside, I'm really hungry and I want to go taste some cake lapis. Let's go! So, there are some tester here. So many different flavours. There's lapis rumpa, spiced layer cake, um, strawberry cheese, lapis azura. Azura is a common name here in Malaysia. Cadbury. And the last one, batik kenyalang. Let's try this one first. This looks interesting. Sarawakian modern layered cakes can be divided into two categories. Cakes with ordinary layers and cakes with patterns, motives or shapes. All must have at least two colours. So we're going to play a game. 
um, it's going to be a guessing game. So what's going to happen is I'm going to guess which, what is the name of the Kueh Lapis by, based on the taste. There are five. Um, I'm going to show you the names and I'm going to read them first. And then based on the flavor, I have to guess which one is which. Okay? Um, so, can't see. Oh. <laughs> Alright, so these are the names. So, Lapis Durian, Lapis Kopi. This is Bate Basahan. Cheese ice cream. Cheese blueberry. Alright, so, not looking at them. Closed. I think this is cake basan. Yeah. Yeah. Woo. Uh, blueberry. Yeah. yeah? yeah. Woo. Two points. Yeah. Like, oh. <laughs> Coffee! <laughs> 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 Strawberry ice cream? <laughs> Cheese and ice cream. Okay, okay. Durian. Durian. But I love durian, so it's okay. So it's definitely durian. Four out of five. Me. So, I guessed four out of five cake lapis, and that means that if anyone needs a food tester, me, I'm your girl, 